I was that girl who decided not to get my undergraduate degree in computer science because I didn't feel like I belonged. So I wanted women, I wanted people of color, people who aren't traditionally invited to the party to feel welcome. To have an organization that's sole purpose is to reinvent that image that you're used to seeing and ensure that that space is inclusive. We have to do this work. There continues to be a huge shortage of software developers out there. And high schools in Ohio aren't running computer science programs. They don't realize it's an option for them. And then they go through college not realizing it's an option for them. And that's where our boot camps come in. We have something that I thought was our bread and butter, and that was the actual curriculum. But it was the delivery of the curriculum that we had to change. Doris and I met up at the early days of We Can Code It. I saw what she was doing and I loved it. I thought, of course, this is the way to teach things. This is how people get motivated to want to learn and that's most of the battle. At this point, all of our instructors go through training in the court of method. Now I'm in the place where I get to actually watch and see the effects of Corda with the students, and I mean, it's mind blowing. We've always been project-based, but what we really embrace with this is having them be a lot more research-based, really removing a lot of the lecture part of it. And in much the same way, the requirements for the projects that they're building have become a lot more open. In the past, we've seen a fair amount of parroting where, you know, if I'm lecturing, really easy to just say, well, that code works, I'm gonna copy that and <laughs> know that my thing's gonna work. With less of that, not none, of it. They really have to find their own answers. There's a greater comprehension of what they're doing. They actually have to know how to develop it. Working in teams is hard. When you start writing code with other people, there's a slew of other types of problems that arise from that. So they're starting to learn to work through all of those from the very beginning of the cohort. The quality that we're getting, far and away better than you know what we've seen in the previous model. In the middle of the program, we were looking at applications that rivaled things that we've seen in final projects. What came out of this was a personality all their own in each project. They were almost production-ready applications. I think we'll do this as human nature. We'll box individuals in to a certain what we think they're capable of doing. You don't try it and experience it, you're not going to see what students are actually capable of. I'm a lifelong Clevelander. I want to see Ohio turn into a tech hub. People are out of jobs. People are looking for new life. And it's wonderful to be a part of that process.